Hello, I'm Sharif. I'm going to explain how to set up all the resources you need to run the virtual editions of Technical Writing 1 and Technical Writing 2. This video complements the information in the facilitator guide. So if you've got questions, make sure you review all the information in the guides. If you can't find the answer, you can also try emailing the Technical Writing Instructors mailing list. The course materials for the virtual editions will work best if you're using either G Suite or G Suite for Education. If you need to, you can also adapt the materials for other commercial or open source software. If you're using G Suite, make sure that all your students have access to the tools we cover in this video. If you need help, then you can ask your G Suite domain administrator. As a facilitator, you'll need to present the slides for the course you're teaching. You'll also need to make a copy of the Lab Partner Sign-Up document. You'll share your copy of the Lab Partner Sign-Up document with all your students. Make sure all of your students have edit access. You'll also need access to several G Suite features, including Meet for hosting meetings, Drive for sharing the various documents, Docs for editing the course documents, and Slides to present the exercises. Your students complete some pre-class work on their own before they attend your class. At the start of class, each student will need to register in the sign-up document to pair up with a lab partner. Alternatively, you can pre-register everyone if you know who is going to attend beforehand. Each pair of students also needs a copy of the in-class exercises. Your students will also need access to a similar set of G Suite features as the facilitator, including Meet for joining the meetings, Drive for sharing documents, and Docs for working through the exercises. When you've reviewed the facilitator guide, you're ready to invite your students to class.